This video covers the tight eye splice procedure for Yale Cordage XTC 24 double braids. Be sure to insert a needle through the center of the rope approximately 6 feet from the end to be spliced. Using an appropriately sized fid, make a first eye mark one fid length from the end of the rope. For a standard tight eye splice, make a second eye mark three and a half inches from the first mark. Make an exit mark one fid length or approximately 10 inches from the second eye mark. From the first eye mark, count down eight strands towards the end of the rope. Draw a line around the circumference of the rope at this location. Make a taper pattern by marking every other strand pair. Working towards the tail of the rope, mark six sets of strands so that 12 ends will be cut to form the taper. Extract the core at the location of the second eye mark. Make a balance mark on the core at the location it was extracted from the sleeve. Extract the tail of the core from the sleeve. Cut a 45 degree taper in the core and tape it tightly. Induce a small amount of sleeve slack in the rope by pulling a short length of the core out of the sleeve. From the needle, milk the resulting sleeve slack back out of the rope. Make a new core balance mark at the location the core now exits the sleeve. Often this location will be slightly different than the original mark, but in some cases the two marks will be nearly identical. Extract a short length of the core and make a crossover mark a half fid length from the new balance mark. Insert a wire fid into the sleeve at the line adjacent to the first time mark. Pass the wire fid into the body of the rope between the core and sleeve, being careful not to catch the interior of the sleeve or the core. Exit the sleeve at the exit mark one fit length below the second eye mark. A short length of loosely braided aramid will be used to pull the core through the body of the rope. Be sure that the end of the aramid braid is attached to a secure fixture. Use the wire fit to pull the aramid braid through the rope so that it exits at the line below the first eye mark. Insert the tapered end of the core into the hollow center of the aramid braid. Carefully pull against the aramid braid, burying the core into the body of the rope. If the core slips out of the braid, then you will need to repeat the previous steps with the wire fit. Use your taper tool to cut the taper pattern into the sleeve and extract the cut ends. Pull the tail of the splice until the crossover mark is aligned with the location the core enters the sleeve. Use a fit to insert the tail of the sleeve into the hollow center of the core. Tighten the crossover point by pulling on the tail of the sleeve and the tail of the core. Cut the taped end of the sleeve, unravel the remainder of the sleeve, and cut a gradual taper along its length.
Milk out the slack in the core to completely bury the tail of the sleeve. Milk out the slack in the sleeve to find the location to cut the core tail. Extract a short length of the core and cut it at this point. Unravel a short length of the core tail and cut a gradual taper along its length. Milk the sleeve slack back over the tapered end of the core to bury it into the body of the rope. At this point the rope should be moved to a block and tackle fixture to complete burying the splice. Be sure to attach the rope beyond the location of the pin securing the core and sleeve. Pull against the eye of the rope while rotating the core into the sleeve. Milk sleeve slack towards the base of the eye to bury as much of the eye as possible by hand. Collect any remaining sleeve slack near the base of the eye and secure it with a pin about two feet below the eye. A fid can be used to pull against the eye while milking the sleeve slack towards the base of the splice. The rope can then be secured to a block and tackle with a small shackle and rotating pin. Apply tension with the block and tackle while milking the sleeve slack up towards the base of the eye. The eye is completely buried when the first eye mark disappears beneath the sleeve of the rope. The rope should be whip locked 4 inches below the base of the eye using a waxed whipping twine. Refer to the whip lock instructions at the end of the industrial single braid eye splice video.